Hey everyone and welcome to my craft room. Um, my name's Julianne Richards and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in southern Tasmania. Just checking my iPad and that seems okay so that should be the end of the wobbles for today. Um, as I say thanks for joining me. I'm a couple of minutes early but hopefully people will catch me and jump on pretty quickly. Um, it's a busy day in the card making world. We've got a um, world card making day which is sort of like big on the calendar so um, Oh, something's happened there. I've gone, um, stopped. Doesn't seem to have stopped here. If anyone has frozen, can you uh, let me know? It seems to have frozen there, so on my view anyway. Um, okay, so, uh, okay, looks like we're back. Sorry about that if everyone was frozen. I don't know what happened there. Oh, sort of something with the internet. Probably got about 14 people on the internet at this in this house at the moment so anyway um, bear with me okay today um, I know yesterday I said for my um, 12 days of Christmas challenge I wasn't going to do a card but um, then I thought well it is world card making day so I probably should make a card um, and I promise there will be some non-card um, projects coming up on, in the rest of my 12 days but today it's sort of a card. In my uh, pre-coffee brain this morning, um, gift tag sounded better than card, but still sort of cardy. So if that makes sense, um, we're going to be doing a gift tag. And it's going to be quite familiar um, to people who watch me regularly because I am actually using what has become my favourite, the Arrange a Wreath um, stamp set and dies, the Arrange a Wreath bundle. And I really, really like um, the stuff that I, the couple of the things I did uh, last time with this little bundle, and I also like the colours that we used yesterday. So, um, so the uh, the soft sea foam and the the bling. Um, so I'm going to put those things together and produce a little gift gift tag for you today, which you know is not quite a card, but not quite a 3D um, project either. So let's get started. I have actually, <clears throat> excuse me, I have cut everything out uh, already. Um, given that it is such a busy day on um, in the card making world with lots and lots of people offering you their their projects online I know at least three other um, demos that are starting live events at this very minute so um, I'm very thankful for you guys who have um, who have come to me live when there was so much other other um, great crafting on 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 offer. Anyway, so anyway, using the dies from the oh, you can see I've got little bits and pieces all over the place. Using the dies from the bundle, I have cut myself four of the little wreaths. It's a matter of fishing them out from everywhere else. Probably shouldn't have stored them that way, but anyway, I'm going silver with my um, seaside spray today. So I've done. Um, this little, um, I've, I've cut this little um, sort of composite leaf one in white and in silver foil, so that's there. I've cut the sort of the bigger leaf in vellum and in the seaside spray. So I'm going to layer all those up to make our wreath. For backing that, I have another circle using the circles from the layering circles in whisper white, and I have popped that through the winter snow um, embossing folder already so that's got that beautiful sort of snowflake thing happening which I really really love might be good for some actual winter crafting once we get winter here in Australia good morning everyone who's coming on I'm so pleased thank you uh, Faye I can see you're here and Jan good morning Jan very excited Jan <laughs> she's gonna say oh my goodness what have I done now I've got this woman all excited anyway it'll be great um, and Glenda and Sally. Good morning, Sally and Susan. Thanks for joining me, guys. Oh, and Roslyn as well. If I've missed anyone, please forgive me. Oh, hi, Michelle. Good morning. We're watching you at 11. My friend Michelle Wells is going live at 11. So once you've uh, had a coffee after this one, please pop over to her page and watch her as well. Anyway, so I have a little piece of cardstock here, and that is going to be the trick of this gift tag and I'll bring that in in a moment but um, just I'll create our our wreath first so what I thought I might do is pop the I don't want too much silver I just want a hint of silver so I'm going to pop the silver one on first and then layer it up with the blue one 
So I don't want too much blue either. So the, the colours that I'm trying to, to de-emphasise, I'm going to pop behind. Then I'm going to bring in the white and I'm going to put the vellum on top just to soften it all. So that's going to be basically our wreath there. I'm just making sure I'm in the middle of the screen. Some very indignant people watching me on YouTube the other day and basically because I'd moved down because I'm having trouble with my new setup, they basically gave me the thumbs down. So I'm trying to be very, very careful now. Very, very careful not to disturb people and their karma. Anyway, shouldn't be sceptical. All right, so I'm going to pop a little bit of glue. Just take my glasses off so I can see. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on the back of our silver wreath. My glue will come out. That shadow might be a bit, we've got some storms coming over, so we've already had some thunder and lightning this morning, so the sun comes out and then it disappears and then it comes out and it's mostly disappeared at the moment. So just some little bits of glue around the edge there. As I say, I've already popped my little circle through the um, winter snow um, embossing folder, so I'll just gently put that down. Not a lot of glue on my fingers as yet, which is good. That's yet to come. Good morning, Kathy and Marie France. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, I've got, got to put my... It's not a good day when you get to put your French accent on. How's that? It's been a while. I'm assuming you're either watching from Canada or um, France, Marie. Um, just let me know where you're, where you're watching from or um, somewhere in Australia <laughs> that would be possible too okay so that blue one is on there and I'm going to bring in the other cluster leaf in the white just like that and just move it on a little bit from the silver one so that you get your silver peeking through so it's just not exactly over the top. Excuse me while I do a bit of firming down and cause some jumps. Okay, cool. So that's that. And then I'll just bring this last vellum one on top. Just very lightly on the glue with the vellum. Sometimes vellum and glue don't go well, but just with some dots I think we'll be fine. Good morning, Kathy. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to pop that one just on top there as well, just to soften it all. So that's, here comes the rain, I think. That's pretty cute, just like that. And I hope that it doesn't come off. You little blighter. Okay, so that's, that's the wreath part of our wreath. Okay, so uh, what to do next? What I thought I might do is add my sentiment on a little piece of curled cardboard like that that I can actually attach to the sides. Now I haven't, this is a bit of an experiment, I haven't actually done it yet. So I thought I've, I've curled it. So I've got a piece of, it's an inch wide piece of cardstock and I've just curled it. I've curled it up with my bone folder in the middle and then I flipped it and, caught, and curled it the other way at the ends like curling a piece of ribbon. Now this may not work, but this is, if it does, you saw it here first guys. Um, you have sun up there. Well, you know, northern end of the state is a sunny, a sunny end of the state, Michelle. I'm going to pop that in there so you get a little bit of a 3D effect going. I don't know, actually, you know, I don't know if I like it. I don't know. I don't know. I might experiment with that another day. You can see what I was trying to go for. Um, sort of like have that across there, like the, like the, um, the, the the wreaths they give at the horse racing, you know, to the winners. But now I look at it on this, I don't think, I think it's going to cover up too much of my pretty, pretty snowflake. I'll come back to that one. Watch a video coming soon where I'll try and do that with something that's not quite as delicate as this. Which means we have to rethink our sentiment. But anyway, we'll come back to that. Anyway, cool. So we've got our little wreath there. So what I'm going to do now is bring in this mystery piece of cardstock here, which I've folded in half. The dimensions of it don't really matter too much as long as it is bigger than your circle that you want to use for your actual card base of your um, gift tag. And what I'm going to do is pop it through my um, 
uh, through my uh, cut and emboss machine and I'm going to, I don't know if you can see, I'll make sure I'm in the right spot with the camera. I'm actually going to leave the edge of my die overlapping at the fold. So this is the fold end obviously. If I leave my die over the edge a bit, so you can see that with my hand behind, um, I will get a nice, uh, rather than two circles, I'm going to get a sort of a, an, a figure eight circle joined in the middle at that fold. So and that's what I'm going to actually use for my gift tag or for writing in. So just bear with me, I want to check this through my um, die cutting machine. And as you guys know, I don't bring that onto the table because it causes all sorts of um, disruptions, seismic problems, make you all seasick. One day I will have a sturdy craft room floor and I'll be able to do all this in front of you. But that day that's not today okay so here we go I've got our little card base here sorry I was away little card base and it opens up like a little compact like a little mini card there we go so what I'm going to do is pop that behind our wreath so that you can write um, to Julianne you are the best demonstrator in the world love everybody inside there you go uh, so I'm going to do that but for and, and between the two I'm also going to pop this little piece of gold cord from the um, from the forever fern or yeah forever greenery trim combo, combo pack the two of my favorite ribbons there and I always run out of one before I run out of the other so um, I've got the gold one here so I'm going to actually pop that between the two like a sandwich so that it basically stays and can attach to our gift that way Uh, yeah, now you laugh at me, you guys. Anyway, that's cool. So, a fair bit of glue there because I do want to trap that cord between the two. And bring it in. Gee, thanks, guys. Oh, so many of you watching. I'm so, so, so honoured. With all the stuff out there, you chose to drop by my humble little video. So cool. Anyway, so... I was going to share it too. Somebody in who's in my little group, um, maybe El, uh, Elizabeth or Sally, if you're watching, if you could share over to the little group, that would be great. Because I don't, I blew on my hands, and I'm going to cause an absolute disaster if I try. Okay, so I'm just going to trim that little bit of end there. Eek. That's all everywhere. Eek. I have got glue on my hands everywhere. And then I'm going to pop our little wreath, and it doesn't really matter too much as long as I orient it with the... You now this is a tricky bit. I might flip it over and bring it like that. It's probably easier for you guys to see anyway. There we are. Now just firm that down a tiny wee bit. Forgive the tremors. And we have our little card behind the scenes, so to speak, so you can write your wonderful words in there. You sneaky people. Oh, <laughs> Elizabeth, the rain. It does, is it? Yeah, no. The, the rain is funny today. It's, uh, isn't it? Don won't be able to play, but um, yeah, it's coming and going. I suppose it depends where his golf is. I know it's raining more steadily in other places at the moment. Anyway, it's all good. Nice spring rain. Okay, so there we are. That's fundamentally the difference between this one and all the others that I've made um, the last few days with this uh, is basically just this little gift card part behind the scenes. So now we can actually do the decorating. So I'm going to stick with the silver, white and seaside spray theme. And I've cut the little um, poinsettias from the build, uh, from the Arranger Wreath die set. So listening back to my video the other day and all I could hear were birds. Birds, 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 birds. Just squawk, squawk, squawk. It's quite pretty, I suppose, but you don't, until you listen, you don't realise just how many of the little blighters are around. I went into my front yard yesterday and it was some like something out of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. It was like they were, they were having some sort of battle um, in my front yard, which was, um, which was quite, quite unusual. I don't know why they chose my front yard to have their, their birdie battle. 
anyway so I'm just curling these little flowers with my um, bone folder just to give them a bit of extra interest they're already embossed it's quite nice they've got these little embossed veins in them but just to give them a little bit of extra I'm just going to curl them up a touch not too much okay then I'm going to glue them together so I'm going to make two flowers out of this and then onto our wreath and then I have to think about them um, think about my sentiment after my original plan has been um, thwarted there you go a big word for a Saturday morning there we go one there one there with my little die cuts here I usually cut two die cuts at a time because I'm impatient and uh, one of them doesn't usually when you do them in twos one of them doesn't cut completely all the way through so I'm actually make it taking the opportunity because these little center circles haven't cut out in one of them quite as well so I'm using that as an opportunity to get the glue on there so an upside to that which I don't mind too much and we are going to cover them with um, rhinestones anyway so that's fine okay so we have our two little flowers I am avoiding thinking about the sentiment. I'm hoping that um, uh, inspiration will strike very soon. So if you can think of any any way you want me to do the sentiment, please yell out before I um, before I commit myself. Okay, so I'm going to add our little flowers with some um, glue dots. I might just pop them there like I did with those original um, fridge magnets that I did a couple of days ago, a few days ago. If you have seen that one, pop over and have a look. And then there as well. There we go. And then I've got these little, when you cut these wreaths out, you get lots of leftovers in the middle. You cut out, you get the sort of a, a circle sort of shape that you cut out in the middle. So rather than waste that, I've cut myself some extra little leaves and I'm going to pop these around as well just to use some cardstock and add some interest. Just pop them around. Now I'm really getting sticky. There we go. And just bringing a little bit of that blue, just a touch of that blue to the to the front. Not too much. last one and I've got a ribbon here which I've already tied so I can add that as well yep oh, come on you cool okay so how's that that's really sweet I think so this is the ribbon I've used the same ribbon as I used yesterday I promised and vowed that I would use it more often so this is the um, the metallic ribbon the seaside spray metallic ribbon so i've already tied that and we're going to pop that just there like that on a, uh, a glue dot as well there we are. so just at the top there we are okay now i'm going to bring in some bling I'm going to use the basic rhinestones. Find my find my tool. I might just have to use this little one here. Just use this little ceramics tool that I've had forever. And I'm going to pop these on our little flowers. So 
probably use six per flower so make sure you've got a fair few in stock before you start Sometimes I take my glasses off and I can't see, which is funny. Sometimes I take them off and I see better, and sometimes I take them off and I can't see at all. And today's one of those not seeing days, unfortunately. I might need to find my Nana glasses somewhere. I don't think they're in here. Okay, so that's the six on there. I start in the middle, or at least I do. I start in the middle and then work around so I can get them even. Mm -hmm. This is the less interesting part of the show. I should sing you a song or something. Maybe not. That will be putting your sound down by then if I did that. stock up on those so we've got our little bit of bling happening with our, the scent Ooh, that came off on my finger how about a banner sentiment hmm how about a banner sentiment just like a cross I'm having trouble with these wanting to stay stay well I've already got a piece of paper cut that I could use as a banner if I don't do the whole 3D banner, I could just pop it in there just like that. Who suggested that sound? Uh, Susan. What do you reckon? Just like that? I might cut myself a new piece because that one's a little bit curvy. I could pop it just across the centre like that, nice and little, so that it's not too obstructed. Let me just get my trimmer. I'll just trim myself a tiny piece. Excuse me. Hard. Trim myself a tiny piece of... Um, Whisper white, half an inch, I think half an inch thick would do. It's a matter of picking the sentiment. Actually, I was going to use this one. I'll show it, see whether this one works. I was going to use the Peace, Love, Peace, Joy, Love out of the um, Doves of Hope. I wonder how that would go. Let's see. Might be a bit long for the centre. I thought I'd do it in sticking with the theme. I'll do it with Seaside Spray. Forgive me if I bring my head into shot because I want to get it straight. About to do have my hair, my um, greys done again. So I will be giving away my age because you'll probably see my grey hair. There we go. That's quite nice, isn't it? It's not too overbearing. I'll bring in my... I don't actually have... Oh, I could use... I could use one of these. Use the, the um, triple banner punch. Pop it up in here. Just like that. So we've got one end. I'm going to have to trim the other end so I can bring it in and do it properly, a bit closer. Nice. Okay, so we've got that little banner happening there. So if I bring that in, so I could sneak it up under that flower. Hey, it's not quite centre because I want to be able to see it, but I think I like that. Susan, well done. Thumbs up. Didn't notice the grace. Thank you very much. You can stay. Thank you, Susan. That was a wonderful um, recommendation there. I really like that. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I lost my... I'm going to do it with, um, with uh, dimensionals. So I'm going to pop those up behind. Just a couple. And put it there. 
How's that? That's awesome. I really like that. Thank you so much. Beautiful. All right. Susan, if you would like me to send you this, if you can pop your... Actually, are you, if you're in the Wild Hearters, I can probably grab your address. I'll pop this in the mail for you since you've improved at no end. So it can be yours. But if you're not in the Wild... I think you're in the Wild Hearters. But anyway, um, I'll grab your address if you're not, if I can, and uh, I'll send it to you in the mail as a thank you. Here we are. Nice. That's really lovely. Thank you very much. That's made it. Okay, so I'll make sure I'm in camera there. Sorry for the wobbles. Um, there is our um, little gift card for the day. Uh, there you go. You've got there. You can write your uh, your um, your sentiment and your uh, to and from inside and your little bit of tag there you can attach it to your present but even afterwards you could pop it on the Christmas tree as a Christmas decoration but that's really I think I love those colors so as you can tell because that's the second one I've done with those um, with those colors and um, the uh, the um, wreath builder so I really actually recommend you get the wreath builder if you haven't if you've got it on your wish list go for it it's just really really lovely and I have a feeling we'll probably be able to use it um, well and truly after Christmas because I know it does have some if I can find it here somewhere it does have some little Easter eggs so you can make yourself an Easter egg wreath what else has it got it's got some little Easter eggs so I assume you can do wreaths at Easter little love hearts so as uh, I previously have done a uh, little Valentine's Day one and then you've got your your Christmassy sort of things as well plus some little flowers so you could use it for spring We've got Easter, Thanksgiving, um, Valentine's Day and Christmas. So basically all year round we're going to be able to use use that die set. So, okay, I'm going to pop this in an envelope for you, Susan. Thank you for um, your suggestion and um, I hope you like it when it comes. Uh, hopefully it won't get too squishy. Um, but anyway, thanks guys for watching. I've really appreciated it when there's been so much other stuff on offer out there in the world that you spent the moment, this half an hour with me. Uh, as I say, my friend Michelle Wells is going live in 23 minutes. I hope you feel well enough too, Michelle, because I've just drummed up some business for you, hopefully. Um, go over there and catch her live or in replay. And um, thanks again. Have a great Saturday, a great weekend or a great Friday night, wherever you're watching from. It's been great to have you. And uh, if you want to know anything about these projects or these um, products, just um, send me a message. It'd be great. Okay, thanks a lot guys and uh, happy World Card Making Day and I'll catch you all for Project 4 tomorrow.